Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different than typical videos that I do, only because, um, sorry, <clears throat> only because it's kind of funny. And I, again, I'm not trying to pass any sort of judgment on people who do. Now, the reason why I'm not going to pass any judgment is because I feel that people can do whatever they want, right? Uh, within limitations and if it's something that they're doing to themselves um, whatever right now there will be public ridicule and people will say things and talk about it and so that kind of comes with it uh, but again I think that people should be able to wear whatever they want to wear right doesn't mean that I necessarily agree with it doesn't mean that I think it looks right doesn't mean that I think it um, it's something that should be done but again it's not me and what other what another person does doesn't really impact or bother me personally it doesn't doesn't damage my life but there's a lot of things i've been seeing about um beard weaves at first i was sitting here laughing now keep in mind i don't do anything to my beard i've had people from time to time ask about uh, you know barber saying hey come to the shop we can help you or whatever or Folks will say they'll recommend a product or they'll talk about something. But me personally, I don't care. Like, I'm not really do. I'm not growing a beard in just to grow up, you know, to make it look nice, to look like Rick Ross. <laughs> that's, not what, that's not what I'm doing. And I'm also not trying to make it look like the guy that was on uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I forget his name. People say that I look like him. They also say I look like Suge Knight. I'm not trying to make it look like any of those folks, right? Um, the reason why I actually grew a beard quickly is because early on, back in the day, um, when I was in high school and I was like, I don't know, 14, 15, I was growing a mustache and it was pretty decent, right? Pretty thick. Other boys couldn't do that. Like no one else in the school really, I mean, they had some peach fuzz, but nobody was really rocking a mustache. So I liked that. Then when they got to an age where they could rock a mustache, I started rocking a goatee because at that point I started to get a goatee and uh, a little bit of hair patchy here and there. And right here, nothing grew, <laughs> even until I was in my 20s. It was just a, a naked spot right here where nothing would grow. So I like the fact that I could grow a goatee and no one else could. They could grow a little bit of a mustache or whatnot, but they couldn't rock a goatee. So then later on, um, in my professional life, uh, there were people who had goatees or whatnot. And it was kind of, in my opinion at the time, and this is just my view, I'm not saying that if you have one, it's out of fashion, but for me, it was out of fashion. And so I started to have like the peach fuzz on the face. So I would shave everything to one length and I would have basically just peach fuzz, right? Shave all this off because this was already naked. Um, and so then after a while, this started to fill in and I was like, cool. So I just let it all grow in and I would keep it low. Then last year, if you notice, uh, I just let it grow, 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 grow. Like it was long. And I just did that just because, right? So I never really had much of an issue other than this spot growing a beard. But there have been a lot of people who say, you know, I just can't get it to connect or I can't get this to connect or something. And so I'm like, you know, I never really had that problem. You know, it's, I have a problem with this growing, you know, that only happened, in the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like maybe 10 years ago, that started to leave. But as far as like hair on my face, it's never really been a problem. So I see stuff online and I heard other people talk about people getting, uh, you know, beard weaves. I'm like, what? Like, why would somebody get a beard weave? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. So then I saw this article of this guy that actually is getting one in and I'm like because I, I for me I never understood how folks could actually get their beard so tight like Rick Ross you know what I mean like and maybe it's just different hair texture I don't know um, but I never understood how they could get it so filled in like that and so I'm not saying Rick Ross does I mean Rick Ross has got plenty of money so I mean he can get whatever done he needs to to make it look nice. And there's a lot of people that do. There's a lot of people, I'm assuming, that don't have any sort of beard weave and it just looks really, really nice like that. But it really makes you stop to think, why would someone... 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm not trying to laugh at it. Get a little dry throat here. But why would someone want to have a beard that bad to where they go and get a weave? I don't understand that. Now, again, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, it, it shouldn't be the case. I'm just saying for me, if I couldn't have actually had a beard, then mine by no means is something that looks great. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, my beard is not anything that I take a whole lot of effort in doing or anything like that. Sorry. But, so I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I'm not knocking people who do, but I just don't understand it. If I couldn't have gotten a beard to grow in at all, I would just do without. Like, I talk about in a video, I can't remember which video, about the fact that I started losing my hair and I have uh, baldness, right? So, I know of someone who was a friend of mine who was bald. He was young, right? So, he went and got hair plugs put in. Now, he won't admit that he did that. He said that the doctors gave him some, now this was when we were in our 20s, maybe early 30s. So he's a few years younger than me. And he said the doctor gave him some special pills and it was an experiment that helped make his hair grow. And I'm like, come on, bro. I'm not that stupid. He basically got hair plugs and put it in because... For his self-esteem, it was something that was a problem. He didn't want to go, and I mean, he would have been bald. Like, I have a little bit. He didn't even have that. You know what I mean? So, I get it, especially being so young. He didn't want to, and he had other things, too, that was going on that he didn't really like. Uh, he had body image issues, right? And I'm sensitive to that, and I understand that and whatnot. But, at the same time, I'm also of the mindset of, if people don't like it, and they don't like you for you, then... The heck with them right like it, it's not really i don't really care what other people think now i haven't always been that way and maybe back then he was more worried about what people think and his you know just that type of thing and had self-esteem issues really his whole life at that point now now i haven't talked to him in years but now maybe different i don't know i'm not sure but when I knew, and I knew him for a long time, he had never dated, in, well, he had maybe dated someone before, but during the time that I knew him for 10 years, he had never had a girlfriend at that point. And so I think that that played into it. And so he went and got that done as well as other stuff. And then he ended up getting married and all that. So I think for him, even though he could have easily gotten a girlfriend, he his self-esteem kind of pushed that away so he just kind of affected his own ability and believing in himself but the whole beard thing which he never did do but the he really couldn't get a beard to grow in either but i don't understand the whole beard weave thing getting back on topic i don't understand that because it's kind of more of a vanity thing now if it's if it's because you had some sort of an illness or some sort of an accident or something like that, then, you know, whatever. Like, I, I, that, that I can definitely understand. But to me, it doesn't make sense for someone to do that. I, I just don't believe in, in, in some sort of a false imagery like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe in some sort of a false imagery. And, some, and of course, disagree. There would be people that would definitely disagree. But me personally, I just don't agree with some sort of false imagery. That's why I never did the hair plugs. It's like, it's gone. You know what I mean? Like, it's gone in the wind. And that's fine. I mean, there's some dudes that can rock corn rolls. I've had people tell me. This is funny. Probably, well, and I've been together for like 10, 11 years. I'd say probably like eight no, maybe more than that. Maybe like, I don't know, a, a while back, 14, 15 years, let's say. I had people say, well, why don't you get cornrows? And I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> like, really? I'm not trying to make fun of Stevie Wonder, but I'm like, that's kind of what I would look like. There's a whole lot of forehead right here. Hairline is stopped back here. There's a bald spot right here, and you want me to just have them work around it? Like a crop circle? Like... Again, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm kind of making fun of myself. But I'm like, really? You want me to rock that? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'll cut it down. There's times when I'll forget. 
it starts growing and it's, you know, whatever. But I'm not trying to impress anybody. Noel actually accepted me for me, and I'm lucky. I, you know, I say that all the time. I'm lucky I accepted her for her. It's not a vanity thing for either one of us. Um, it's more of a substance issue. She knows what I'm about. I know what she's. I know what she's about. So I'm not really trying to impress anybody uh, with my looks because that's not going to really get me far at all. And I'm okay with that, right? So I guess for me, I'm just in a different place. Um, and so I'm looking at it maybe in a totally different light. You tell me what you think about the whole beard weave thing where guys are actually getting a whole beard put in. Looks great. You're getting a whole beard put in um, and just to basically say that they have a beard. And it makes me wonder. Sometimes when I go out and I see dudes and they have this, you know, this beard looking nice, and I'm like, huh. Looks almost too perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I've been growing a beard for so long that sometimes you look at things and it's like, it almost looks too perfect. Like, I know that barbers can do an amazing job and all that type of stuff and all that, but some of them look a, a little bit too good. And I've seen some dudes, another, another one too. And again, no judgment on anyone who does. I think, you know, do what makes you feel better. Do what makes you happy. Life is extremely short. So whatever's going to make you happy, make you feel comfortable, whatever, then do it. But I've seen people who are, I know are much older than me, much older than me. And, and the, sorry, it does this. Forgive me. Much older than me, and yet they don't have a stitch of gray hair on their face. Dudes. Right? Like, me, and, and people will say, you know, there's a lot of gray. There is a lot of gray. But again, I don't want to go and actually dye. Now, women and things like that, I understand women will dye their hair and that type of thing. That's, you know, that's different or whatever. For a guy, I don't understand why dying, you, especially your beard, and people know you're like 60 years old and you don't have a gray hair on you. It just kind of looks, I like to look seasoned. I like to look my age. You know what I mean? Like I don't dress like I'm, you know, a 20-year-old college guy for a reason. I mean, maybe I do. I guess I do. It's a bad example. But, I, you know, there's certain things I don't do because it's like that's not where I'm at anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't, that's not where I'm at. So I try to look the age that I am, and I don't want to look too old, and I don't want to look too young, <clears throat> but so I just let that nature take its course. This is what's going to naturally happen. I'm starting to get a little bit of gray popping around through here, and when it does this, I know a guy actually, uh, I was good friends with his wife, still am, and good, decent friends with him, and he started going gray. This is way off topic, but it's kind of similar. He started going gray like in, when he was like 20. Three, I know two guys started going gray like early 20s. The one guy I went to school with, I'm like a year older, and he started just going like his hair was like salt and pepper. And then later it just was like there was no pepper. It was just all salt. Like he just became like white. And so, um, and he wasn't even 30 by the time. It's, but he was like, you know, that's just how it is. Like he was totally cool with it, didn't, didn't care. And then another guy where I'm friends with his wife, he started to get salt and pepper hair later on and his beard also salt and pepper. He liked it because he thought it looked dapper and he was still, he's still young. I'm older than him by quite a bit. I think he's maybe 34, maybe I could be off, but he's like almost all white. It looks good on it. I mean, it look, it looks both of these dudes. It, it, it fits. You know what I mean? Like if they were to went and, and, and dyed their hair or whatnot, you couldn't tell the difference. Like you'd be like, all right, it kind of fits. I mean, there's a lot of people my age and older than me that don't have a, a stitch of gray hair and that's great. But I've seen some people who are in their 60s and you know for a fact, or you know, whatever age they are, you know that there's gray and yet it's just solid black. It's like jet black. Again, no, no, you know, I'm not judging. I'm I, truly, I'm not judging. I just, for me, I don't understand. I've had people ask, well, you know, what about the gray? I just let it rock. You know what I mean? Like to me, and, and I think that a lot of women like that. You know what I mean? Like I think sometimes got with the whole beard thing, I think it's just kind of deceptive in a way. I can't talk. I haven't had my coffee really. I think it's deceptive because 
you know, now men will get on this topic about, about women and, you know, deception and makeup and all that. Th okay, that's a different topic and I'm not going to touch that one. But when it comes to guys and the whole beard thing, I think, yeah, that's a little bit, I mean, it's, to me, I think it's a little bit uh, of deception there. And then the whole, you know, um, tinting of hair color and stuff like that, dyeing it so that you can look younger. I mean, it, it's kind of silly. I mean, for a man, you know, I think it's just kind of silly to, to do, for me to do. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine me coming in with, you know, basically putting some plugs in with a big old scar on the back of my head and, you know, dyeing my hair so that I can look young to try to impress people? You know what I mean? Like, I've already have someone that, you know, tolerates me. So why would I, you know what I mean? Like, Noel is just like, whatever. So it's like, why would I go and actually do that? I can get it if people are single. I understand. It's, it's, a, it's a tough world. But I just, it's just not for me. Tell me what you think. I can go on and on and on about it. But tell me what you think. Do you think, what do you think about the whole beard weave thing? Um, the whole dying of hair, that's a different thing. But what do you think about the beard weave thing? Um, what are your opinions? Again, no judgment. If you do it, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm not trying to be rude, not trying to be disrespectful, none of that stuff. That's not what I'm about. It's just saying, I'm just saying for me personally, I don't get it. I think you should just be happy with yourself. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.